everywhere. Get the dogs out. It can be far away. It must be found before Monsieur Rocher learns what has happened. Search the whole estate. If you can't catch it, kill it. Otherwise, it will be the finish of us all. Around by the gate. Peter Brady speaking. Please excuse this intrusion, Monsieur Brady. I am Antoine Hugo of the French Security. We require your services. Most urgently. My services, Monsieur Hugo? Is this something scientific? I'm sorry, Monsieur Brady, but I cannot tell you on the phone. There is no one else who can help. You must travel invisibly. No one must know you have come to France. Right. Monsieur Hugo? Who's that? Peter Brady. You wanted to see me. Peter Brady? But where are you? Right in front of you. May I sit down? Of course. I beg your pardon. I did not know you were standing. Right. What's the mystery? It is very good of you to come, Monsieur Brady. I'm very grateful. Forget it. What can I do? I want you to look at this. Anything special about it? Looks like an ordinary white rabbit to me. Now, what would you say if I told you that it had been invisible? Invisible? Could you tell me if this animal or any other had been made invisible? Well, there are certain tests. Uh, anything which had undergone the process of becoming invisible might still have traces of radioactivity. It has already been examined. I'm waiting for the reports now. Where did it come from? A girl arrived in Paris with it this morning. An intelligent girl, recently qualified as a doctor. She works for her uncle, who has a practice in the Burgundy district here. And she says the rabbit was invisible? It was in a drain pipe. At first there was nothing, and then a white rabbit. Perhaps one of your research teams is working on invisibility. Have you checked with them in this area? That is just the point, Monsieur Voidy. We have no one working on invisibility in Burgundy. In fact, we have no one reported to us doing this sort of work in the whole of France. Are you sure? Perfectly. If anyone is engaged on this task, they have told no one and published no reports. So if this rabbit really were invisible, it means someone's working in secret. That is why we have sent for you, Monsieur Brady. Where's this girl? Please send in Mademoiselle de Marseille, will you? Monsieur Brady, you must remember that this is an educated girl who... Why have you had me questioned like this? Do you think I've been imagining things? Do you think I've been lying? Our apologies, mademoiselle, but you must realize that we had to make many investigations. You're treating me like a criminal. No, no. If what you say is true, it is of great importance. It is true, but I'm sorry I came. You acted like a good citizen. You know, of course, that there is already one man who has made himself invisible. Yes, in England. Your story was so grave that I have sent for him. Did he say he would come? He is here. What? Monsieur Brady, Dr. Dumassi. How do you do? I hope you don't mind if I ask you a few more questions. About this white rabbit, tell me, 
How long did it take to appear fully? About a minute. And was it feet first, head first, or tail first? No, all together. I see. Was it frightened? Only by my dog. You picked it up. Did it seem completely normal? Yes. Hello? Yes? Oh, good. Well, never mind that. Just tell me one thing. Were there any traces of radioactivity? What degree? Uh-huh. I see. Thanks. Mademoiselle, you said that you found this rabbit in a wood near your village. That's right. I'd like you to take me there. Is that necessary, Monsieur Brady? Essential by the look of things. There's every reason to believe that Dr. Dumasse's story is true. This is it. Right. Don't forget, if anyone sees us, you're by yourself. I was walking along this path when the dog dashed off. I was there. Which way did the dog go? Through there. You couldn't see what she was chasing, huh? No, but she barked so much, I looked in there. There was nothing at first. Then I saw the rabbit. I see. What's that big house over there? That's the Rocher Chateau. They're a very old family. They've been in this district for hundreds of years. Do you know anything about them? They're very rich, I believe. Hey, there's someone over there. Let's take a look. Okay. Hmm, why all the protection? <laughs> Did you want something, mademoiselle? No. Don't come too close. Come on. They don't encourage visitors, do they? No. And you found the white rabbit just 20 yards from that fence, huh? Yes. Is that important? It could be. Do you know anyone who might tell us more about this place? Perhaps my uncle. Oh, yeah? He's been the local doctor here all his life. Can you trust him, Suzanne? You mean, will he keep quiet about you? I think so. Good. She was standing just outside, huh? By herself? Yes. Wolf went wild. Why should he? I don't know. Perhaps there was something strange about her. Did you recognize the girl? I've seen her before. I think she comes from the village. You must make inquiries. We cannot be too careful. Right. Ah, oh, I'm glad to see you back, Suzanne. And no more nonsense, I hope. White rabbit, indeed. You didn't mention it to anyone, did you? Of course not. Do I want people to know that my niece is a silly girl? I'd lose face. I'd lose my practice. Everyone in the village knows that nothing is invisible. Unless you drink too much cognac. I have a surprise for you, Uncle. You've heard of Peter Brady, the invisible man. I don't believe in him. Don't offend him, Uncle. How do you do, Doctor? No need to tell me how to behave in my own house. Enchanté, Monsieur Brady. We wondered if you could tell us something about the Rocher family, Uncle. The Rocher? No. They're far too grand for me. They never call me in. A simple country doctor. How many are there in the family? Only one now. Young Rocher. Of course, he isn't so young. About 40, I suppose. I can't say I ever cared for him. He got mixed up with the Nazis during the war. A collaborator of sorts. But why do you ask? Because of what happened last night? What happened? It was after you left for Paris with your white rabbit. The whole wood was lit up with torches. They had beat us out, banging on tins. What was the matter? It was the people from the chateau. They were out in the wood until dawn, searching for something, I'm told. Did they find it? I don't know. I don't even know what it was. Come on, Suzanne. The sooner we take a look inside this chateau, the better.
Five minutes, 45 seconds. Fifty-five seconds. It's no good. It's always the same. We have discovered the secret of invisibility, but it is only temporary. It's no good to us. It's no good to Monsieur Rocher. Perhaps we should increase the amount of radiation. Then they die. But a human being is more resistant. Experiment with human beings? You know that's impossible. What is it? The girl. The one from the woods. Her car is just outside the gate. Tell me your car's broken down. Get them to open the gates. When they have, I'll slip through. Right. Well, what do you want? I wonder if you could tell me, please. There's something wrong in my car. There's a garage down the road. What about that? Bad luck. Take a look at your motor, Suzanne. Pretend to adjust it. They're watching you from the chateau. What did you find out about her? She's a doctor. Practices in the village. My guess is she knows something about us. Why do you say that? Shortly after we lost the rabbit, she drove to Paris. What for? No one seems to know. But she took a small box with her in the car. A small box. Get me Paris. I want to speak to Monsieur Rocher immediately. The whole place is fenced off and wide for alarm. It proves one thing. There was a lot to hide. They're still watching you. Pretend you fixed the car. Get in, we'll drive off. I want you to pretend that nothing unusual has taken place. What would you be doing normally at this time of day? I've got patients to visit. Good. Drop me off at the surgery. She's driving off. Your call to Paris, Professor Blair. It's ringing now. Hello? Oh, Professor Blair. Yes, Monsieur Rocher is here. Oh, but he has a very little time to spare. He's going to the Senate to see Monsieur Valois. He says it's urgent, sir. Just a minute, please. Blair, I've told you not to telephone me. Huh? What? Well, what, uh, what girl are you talking about, huh? <laughs> How can she be a danger? I see. And you think she's brought this animal to Paris? Yeah, very well, I will... I will find that out immediately. If she has it, she can endanger the whole cause. Drive me to Valois immediately. Rocher, I can't tell you how glad I am you have come. I'm terribly worried. I heard about the white rabbit. Unofficially, of course. Did, uh... Did she say it was invisible? Apparently, Mademoiselle Dimassé made some hysterical report. Fortunately, no one believed her. But I'm still worried. I don't want to go on with it. It has suddenly become too dangerous. Valois, listen to me. I have spent ten years and a fortune working on this project. In a few more months, we shall have the secret of invisibility. After that, we shall have a small, disciplined army of invisible men. With those at our command, we can control France. And after that, the world. But I need you. But you have always said that you believed in our aims. I've supported you 
for five years so that you could play your part when we came to power. You have been a, a cabinet minister. People trust you. When the time comes, you must be premier. It is only for a few months. After that, you can retire. But until that time, there must be no pulling out. You understand me? Yes. Don't attempt to double-cross me, because you will know what to expect, huh? And now, I am going down to the chateau to put a stop to these rumors before people begin to take them seriously. But how can you do that? I shall stop them at the source. Well, yes, sir. Get through to Blair. Tell him I want to see this Mademoiselle Dumasset. He must get her down to the chateau. I don't care how he does it, but there must be no witnesses, hmm? Tell him I'm on my way. Sorry to disturb you, Doctor. I got a most important call to make to Paris. Go ahead. Hello? I want a Paris number, please. How is your mother, Colette? Much better than her. Don't forget to call her the surgery for her medicine. Dr. Dumasse. Yes? You must come at once. Someone's had a heart attack. You are from the Chateau, aren't you? Hurry, please. It's a matter of life and death. Is that you, Brady? Yes. What is it you want? Information on Rochy. Yes, he owns a chateau here. I gather he's got a bad political record. I know the name. If you can hang on, I'll check it at once. Hello, Brady. I'm sorry to keep you waiting so long. I'm just glancing through his dossier. It looks very bad indeed. His background is entirely fascist. Friendly with ex-president Valois. Here's another reactionary character. This is serious, Monsieur Hugo. The White Rabbit escaped from his chateau. That means they got a lab in there. They're experimenting on invisibility. And the whole place is fenced off like a top security outfit. Listen, Brady. If it's as bad as that, you must wait until we send help. Don't try going in there on your own. Not unless I have to. Right. We're on our way. It looks as though Suzanne has stumbled on something dangerous. You're right, Doctor. Oh, that must be Suzanne. Ah, oh, it's you, Colette. Has my niece called? Yes, Doctor. She told me to collect the medicine. Here it is. She should be back soon. But she's gone to the chateau. What? Didn't you know? Someone is very ill up there. They sent a car for her. And she went off in it? Yes. Check the voltage. What? I'm afraid we have tricked you into this visit, mademoiselle. But now that you are here, perhaps you would answer a few questions. I don't understand. You were in the woods yesterday. Did you see anything curious? What do you mean? Anything strange? A strange animal? No. Let us have no more pretense. You saw the white rabbit. Let's see how we get into this place. Why did you go to Paris? I often go there. You know what I'm talking about. Come on, tell me. You knew all about the white rabbit. 
Tie her up. Take her downstairs. Luck. Inquisitive young lady, hmm? Yes, sir. You are going to help us, my dear, in a most interesting experiment. <clears throat> so there is a lab. You are quite sure that she was alone? Oh, quite sure, Monsieur Rocher. How long does this take to run up? About a minute. Switch on. Monsieur Rocher. Do what I tell you, Blair. And this time, Professor, use full power. We are not dealing with a white rabbit. You are going to make a great contribution to our knowledge of human resistance. Are you ready? All right. Go ahead. What has happened? Are you trying to disobey me, Professor? I don't understand. Get her in, quickly. No, you don't. In you go. Max! Max! Stay over here. Keep out of trouble. Something has happened. Something is wrong. There is someone here. Someone invisible. Sir Hugo, if we should thank anyone, we should thank the White Rabbit. Thank <laughs> you. 
Thank you.